Sagittarius, this is Kelly, Moon Pie Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, getting ready here to do your love reading for the end of July. Please stay tuned. Um, in August, I'm going to start doing collective daily love readings for all. So keep your eyes open for that. All right, Sag. Um, let's see what your love messages are. The uh, end of July here, last two weeks of July. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, wow, everybody's getting a heart with a key. I feel like love is coming to everybody. All right, let me see. Okay, there's a karmic relationship, fleeting, triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself. Okay, hmm. And the runner, okay. There's somebody that you're, I feel like you're gonna connect with at the end of July that you know is the person for you, but this, this is like uh, karmic, it, like there's a karma attached to this, and it's kind of sad, it's kind of a shame, um, because, or it feels like it'll be karmic because this person's a runner, this person runs, okay, it's like you're sitting here, you want to get together, you know this is the person for you, you're welcoming this love, you know, you feel like this is the one, you know, but then you get triggered by this person running away, they have a tendency to run away, they have fear of in intimacy, that their ego get in the way, and then they, they maybe they're codependent, um, and they get out, they run, okay, so there's a lot of triggers here, and then there's resentment, and then there's issues, there's a lack of trust, okay, crazy, like, to be in love, or to know that the person that you're, you have a heart for, wow, I didn't even realize I was so blurry, sorry, to know that the person that you have a heart for is, like, a runner, that's very difficult to deal with, okay, why is, why am I so blurry, let me see if I can fix this, okay, past position, knight of pentacles, okay, opportunity for something to move forward, strength, um, consistency, deliberate action, um, all right, looks like we're all going to be, like, drunk in love here, and then currently, like, a loving connection gets made between you and another person, look, right, same page, honestly, like, this is somebody, here we go, this is somebody that I feel like if you, it looks like in the past you were just moving steady, you were, you were holding steady, you were moving forward, doing what you need to do for yourself, and boom, you connect with someone here, and it's a beautiful love connection, and you both recognize each other, and you're on the same page, and everything's great, okay, um, yeah, and this person's like super freaking fantastic, you know, um, you know, and you see this person, um, it's almost their light is, sh is blinding, <laughs> but it's a real challenge to get together because this person seems to like being single and independent, okay, um, hmm, it's a challenge to get together because this person, like, is all that in a bag of chips and really likes to be, enjoys their single life, enjoys their independence, um, nine of pentacles, that could be a Virgo card, enjoys her independence, looks good, takes care of self, has money, does well, doesn't need anybody, um, but yet a connection gets made here. That's probably why that runner energy is up there. This person might stay in a position of being in, you know, all their glitz and glory. Uh, this is like a safety mechanism. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you're, what's driving you, your desires, you see this connection as a golden opportunity here. You see it. You see this person. You see that this can be, but for this person to actually come into union kind of tough when you've got someone who someone who runs all the time so you're crowning down with the world your mind's like well maybe I should just keep it moving I'll just maybe I'll just let go you know I'll just turn the page you know this chapter is probably not going to happen um, this person has a hard time uh, they just maybe they don't, don't have a hard time maybe they do the codependency the karma um, this person just seems to it feels like the answer, like the benefit right now here, because this is like the one, you know, this is the one, it's probably best for you to just keep it moving because if not, what are you going to do? Like put a lasso around their neck and drag them in, right? <laughs> so let me see. 
Okay, yeah, death. Okay, put an end to it. The end of July. Or going towards the end of the July. Just like, psh, be done. Um, I don't know what it is. This person just cannot, they have such a fear of intimacy. That's what I feel like this is. They have such a fear of intimacy, the high behind material things. Um, and they keep themselves at a distance. Okay, they keep themselves distant from love. Probably the best you might realize you get from this person is friendship and maybe dates or uh, maybe like it'll always be like a new feeling of love, but it won't. I don't see how something will turn into anything serious. Your advice here? Okay, page of wands. <laughs> Keep talking to other people, Sagittarius. Don't get your heart stuck on one person, especially if it's karmic, especially if there's someone who runs or they're already running. They may not run from you, but they may stop for a moment to connect with you, but then they're back. They're like Forrest Gump. You know, they just keep running. There's no, they got a mission, whatever is going on in their life. Okay, so Queen of Wands is showing, or Queen of Cups is here in the reverse out of my entire deck, which is interesting. Um, external to you, okay? This person, yeah, that's codependency. Um, they're a runner, a fear of intimacy, yet they are um, a clinger as well. Hold on. Sorry, my grandson was crying in the background um so this person is very codependent yeah just very codependent queen of cups in the reverse smothering maybe insecure struggling with some kind of an addiction all right uh that's cancer scorpio pisces energy <clears throat> well, your advice here with the page of wands is just to stay enthusiastic um stay excited keep doing what you're doing you're chatting talk don't get hung up on somebody who um isn't trying to you know meet you halfway they'll meet you halfway but as a friend it just seems like this person maybe they went through something okay so you know you fear that your emotions are going to be crushed okay you're hoping that that's not going to happen but, you know, you're in control of your hopes and your fears. Okay, that's what I want to say. I wish that wasn't even... I'm actually going to change that because I'm actually really tired of the hopes and fears thing because hopes and fears, let me just tell you this, <laughs> they're rational, okay? And I know you're going to say, that's not true. We need to have hope. I think I think that it's okay to have a little bit of hope, but if you have too much hope and... and you know, if you live in that, you're living in kind and it's the same as if you're living in fear all the time. Living in hope and living in fear are two things that are going to control you, you know. And so it, I feel like there might be a fear that you won't be able to control your emotions or your sadness or your grief. But remember, those are just fears. Okay. And the outcome is the Eight of Swords. All right, and the Ace of Swords. So the outcome here is getting crystal clear with yourself because I feel like this karmic relationship might cause you to feel a sense of mental um, constriction, okay, um, about who you are and about yourself, but none of it is true. I feel like if somebody is here not trying to connect with you in the way you would like them, even though you see that they're right for you, they may not be in a position to see that they're right for anybody, okay? Queen of Wands, yeah, okay. So this person, they pretty much front that they have it, their shit together, you know, um, but what they hide is the insecurity. And I, it just feels to me like this is a timing thing. It's like meeting the right person at the wrong time is how I feel. And that's why I was seeing your advice here is to keep building, keep positive, keep enthusiastic about your business and your wealth and all the things that you're doing and your family and kids and, you know, um, just the whole connection and family can be blood family can be friends uh, you know whoever your soul tribe is just keep staying with those people um this might change in the next month you know this there's really no way to know here but i feel like you know in your heart that somebody is 
possibly right for you, but they're not reconciled to that just yet. That's what I feel like the energy is here. Let me just get a couple of um, romance angels. Okay, yeah, separation. So time apart from this person is on the horizon, and we saw that with the death card. Pull your energy back, pull back. Um, you got to let this, if they're going to run, just let them, let them run. Don't chase them and, then, um, you know, create space for them to run, you know, because if you are ready to connect with someone and, and it's just kind of a bummer, it's like an unrequited kind of situation and it feels like it's best. Yeah, this, this is a soulmate connection. Definitely. They're just not ready. This person is just not in that position to, get where you are what you see about them they can't see about themselves okay um, maybe they're healing from something you know um, maybe they were in a karmic relationship and there's they haven't dealt with that yet and they're facing that energy let me just see they might have been actually or they could have an issue with a mother okay mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson Okay, vulnerability, you can be completely open with this person, and you should be. And if you decide that, you know, you want to talk to this person and say, listen, maybe it's better we just be friends, or not, you know, or just open up and say, this is not a good time, or you seem to run away a lot, and it makes me feel, talk about how you feel, that's your vulnerability. Okay, you can also tell them that you love them, but you can also send them a um, take care package as well. <laughs> Okay, this person, wow, they replay the conversations, or they will replay the conversations that you guys have. I feel like this person has a tendency for a little bit of preoccupation. Okay, but this is a true love connection, so it does feel like it's going to take a little time for something to come to fruition here. Um, it's all divine timing. That's all this is. One person's ready and the other is not. And that, that's a tough thing. That's what makes it karmic. And there's lessons to be learned here. All right, Sagittarius. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope it gave you some clarity at least. And I'll see you guys very soon.